Venture with us into the heart of Wellington, Florida, Moon Bay Circle, an oasis nestled in Palm Beach County's captivating beauty. Known for its captivating landscapes, serene waterways, and its warm, friendly ambiance, it represents the quintessential South Florida experience. This enchanting locale has more than its fair share of attractions. Horse lovers are lured by the world-renowned Palm Beach International Equestrian Center, while nature enthusiasts revel in the nearby Grassy Waters Preserve, a vast wetland home to a rich variety of wildlife. And it's not all about horses and wildlife. Wellington also flaunts boutique shopping experiences and a myriad of tantalizing dining options. But beneath the charm and tranquility lies an eerie tale from Moon Bay Circle, a mystery that lay dormant for over 20 years until one normal day. A seemingly regular Google Maps search nudged open a two-decade-old Pandora's box, unveiling a car beneath a peaceful neighborhood pond. A discovery, unintentional yet shocking, sparked the unraveling of a compelling narrative blurring the lines of reality. Welcome to True Crime Expresso, where we unravel enigmas from across the globe, delving into the depths of history, revealing hidden truths behind both solved and unsolved crimes, and unearthing spine-chilling real stories that will haunt your thoughts. In today's video, we take a dive from the murky depths of a community pond to a quiet suburban street, journeying from the cold evening of November 7th, 1997, to the startling moment truth revealed itself. William Moltz's story, a man lost to time only to be discovered in the digital age. It's a tale that transcends space and time. This name nearly vanished into oblivion, yet managed to resurface through the silent whispers of the past. Meet Jerry Nyman, a dedicated operative within the Transportation Department of Palm Beach County School District. Nyman's daily agenda? the construction and supervision of school bus routes and maintaining a constant pulse on the fluctuations within the district's bus fleet. Nyman navigated this intricate maze with a proprietary routing system, developed in-house and crucial to his operations. It gives him a real-time rundown on bus stops and the positions of the district's buses. The foundation of this high-tech system? Good old Google Maps. Nyman, ever devoted to his role within the school district, often tapped into the reservoir of data on Google Maps and Street View to ascertain the safest and most convenient path for our little ones to their bus stops. But a surprise lied in wait for Jerry. On the fateful day of August 28, 2019, a seemingly ordinary afternoon took an unexpected turn when Jerry received a surprising email. It contained information about changes to the bus route from Polo Park Middle School, a name he had clearly heard somewhere. Jerry recalled his ex-girlfriend, Erica, mentioning this school before, which is where her children attended. Erica was comfortably living in the picturesque Sausalito housing development in Wellington, Florida, an area known as Grand Isles. This sudden coincidence sparked Jerry's interest, so he decided to take a digital tour, courtesy of Google Maps, mapping out the locale of Polo Park Middle School. Intrigued by the situation, Jerry decided to follow the route from the school to Erica's house on Google Maps. Suddenly, something piqued his interest. Near Erica's house, reflected on the surface of a nearby man-made lake, was an object that appeared to be a car submerged underwater. Initially dismissing it, Jerry later revisited the image and compared it to the other cars parked nearby. The mysterious object definitely looked like a car submerged underwater. Excitedly, he texted Erica, jokingly asking if she was hiding cars in her backyard. Confused, Erica asked Jerry to explain his odd question. Jerry responded by sending her the incriminating screenshot from Google Maps, suggesting that she should look into the object, mimicking a submerged car in the lake by her home. Intrigued, Erica went to her backyard, trying to peer through the darkened waters to see this supposed underwater vehicle for herself. Unfortunately, the water was so murky, she only saw the gentle ripples of water. Seeking a second opinion, she sought out Barry Fay, a neighbor. Together, they stared at the picture from Google Earth, a big question hanging in the air. Could there actually be a car hidden under the water? Suddenly, the quietness broke with a confident answer. Yes, a car was under the murky waters. As fate would have it, 
the vehicle was located just behind his own house, a place he had spent countless hours oblivious to the hidden truth beneath the water's mask. Resolute, Faye asked a neighbor skilled in drone flight, hoping to elevate their perspective. As the drone soared, capturing its evidence, the truth could no longer hide. A white car hidden for who knows how long, a dark secret of Moon Bay Circle waiting to be discovered. As the night wore on, the community held its breath, a sense of mystery and unease intertwining in the humid Florida air. Returning home, Faye's curiosity pulled him once more to the water's edge, his gaze fixated on the spot where the mysterious car had been. From the shoreline, however, he found nothing but the same tranquil view he had known for the 14 months he'd inhabited the house. In the realm of Faye's imagination, what had been discovered initially seemed no more than discarded remnants, an abandoned relic of the past. The truth, however, would defy all expectations, revealing a tragic reality that even Faye, with all his conjectures, could never have fathomed. Divers were summoned to submerge into the dark waters in order to authenticate whether an actual vehicle was indeed present. Once they validated the existence of the car underwater, it became a matter of waiting for a special team to arrive. The pond itself, shaped like a teardrop, cradled the secrets of its depth between homes on two sides and a guardrail on the other, a sentinel that had not yet risen in 1997. Back then, the landscape had been different. The very ground beneath Grand Isles was under construction, not yet hosting the homes that now looked over the water. The bags are open, yes. Yes, it's gotta be. As the waterlogged vehicle was raised from the depths, it bore within it the haunting secret it had guarded for decades. Skeletal remains, fragments of a life lost to time. The white Saturn, now unearthed from its aqueous tomb, bore the scars of its long submersion, encrusted with heavy calcification, evidence of years spent submerged beneath the surface. The skeletal remains remained a mystery until September 10, 2019. In the wake of this discovery, patients wore thin as the medical examiner's office worked meticulously, the passage of nearly two weeks finally yielding the confirmation of a name, a history, an identity. William Earl Moult. With Moult's memory resurrected, a man of 40 at the time, a mortgage broker, was a man who rarely drank. His tall frame, a silhouette of six feet, carried the weight of a life lived, around 225 pounds. He had sandy hair and warm brown eyes. The discovery of the white Saturn in late August was made by a local school board member who was using Google Earth to map bus routes. Police pulled the highly calcified vehicle from the lake and found the skeletal remains of William Moult inside. The 40-year-old's clothing and personal belongings were all intact. The night he vanished, he wore gray trousers, a striped white button-down Oxford shirt, a tie, a black belt, and polished dress shoes. His fittings included a Gruen men's watch clasping a gold band against his wrist, its face a soothing shade of blue. On November 7, 1997, Moult decided to go out that night by himself for a night of clubbing. He spent time at the Lantana Club in Florida, where he remained mostly by himself. He was known to be neither too outgoing nor too distant. At 9.30 p.m., William Moult called his girlfriend to let her know that he was heading home to Lake Worth, assuring her of his return. Somewhere around 11 p.m., he was seen leaving the club alone, driving his 1994 white Saturn SL into the night. But home was never reached, and in the following 22 years, Moult's absence became a haunting enigma, a man nicknamed Bill, whose quiet existence had slipped into obscurity. Yet Moult's case echoed a strange pattern, one where Google's gaze unveiled submerged cars concealing human stories. In November 2015, a chance observation during the holiday season led to the revelation of a submerged car housing human remains in a Wyoming pond. Just as Moult's car had been preserved in digital memory, so had this one. Davy Niles, missing since 2006, at the age of 72, was identified through dental records an unknowable fate laid bare. Memories cleared, closure granted, as a murky pond surrendered its secret 
a car and its occupant finally brought to light. There it was after all this time, all these years of searching and wonder, the car, the driver still seated behind the wheel. It's believed to be Davy Niles, a man who was 62 when he disappeared in 2006 after a cancer diagnosis and noted depression. As the waters gave up their secrets and the years of obscurity peeled away, the story of William Moult took its rightful place in the annals of mystery. What led him to that fateful night in November 1997? How did his car remain hidden beneath the tranquil pond, defying the passage of time? This is where the past converges with the present, where the digital realm meets the mysteries of human existence, leaving us to wonder what else remains hidden underwater, waiting for a curious eye to uncover.